Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows what we have. A raised to power m minus n. Same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. At this here, this becomes 5 raised to power x over 5 raised to power 1, then plus 5 raised to power x equals to 60 from here. Then, here we can express it as 5 raised to power x times 1 over 5 raised to power 1, which is 1 over 5, then plus 5 raised to power x equals to 60 on this side. Then, here we have 5 raised to power x, come on, we factor it out, and this becomes 5 raised to power x into bracket 1 over 5 plus 1 left here, then equals to 60 on this side. And next step here, can bring this together as one fraction. This is 1 over 1. That is, we have 5 raised to the power hex into brackets. The SCM here, we have 5. And 5 goes in 5, 1. 1 times 1, that's 1. Plus 1 going in 5, 5. 5 times 1, that's still 5. Plus bracket equals to 60 from here. That is. Next step here we have 5 raised to the power hex times 1 plus 5, that's 6. Then over 5 equals to 60 on this side. Then to remove this 5 over 6 here, you can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this as this times. 5 over 6 on this side, also times 5 over 6 on this side. Then this cancelled each other here. And we have 5 raised to the power x equals to 60 times 5 over 6. Which implies, here we have 5 raised to the power x equals to 6 times 10 times 5 over 6. At this year, 6 cancelled each other. Then we have 5 raised to the power x equals to 6 times. Sorry, what we have left here is now 10 times 5. Then, Next step here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 10 times 5 on this side. Then here we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, it's same thing as p log m. At this here, we have x log 5 equals to log 10 times 5 on this side. The next step here, divide both sides by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies here log 5 cancelled each other. We have x equals to log 10 times 5 over log 5. Then here, yeah, we apply the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to log 10 plus log 5 over log 5. That is here. We separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to log 10 over log 5 plus log 5 over log 5. Which implies here we have log 5 comes to each other here. One left here. All we have becomes x equals to log 10 over log 
5 plus 1. Then, next step here, also 10 can be expressed as 5 times 2. All we have becomes x equals to log 5 times 2 over log 5 plus 1. That is, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to log 5 plus log 2 over log 5 plus 1. Then we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 2 over log 5 plus 1 which implies here yeah, log 5 cancel each other we have one left that is x equals to 1 plus 1 then plus log 2 over log 5 then this becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 that's 2 then plus log 2 over log 5. That is, here we apply change of bits. When we have log a over log b, it's the same thing as log a to base b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 5. That is, the value of x here we have 2 plus log 2 base 5. Then, let's Check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to the power 2 plus log. 2 base 5 minus 1 and plus also 5 raised to the power 2 plus log 2 base 5 is this equals to 60 on this side that is from what we have here we have 2 minus 1 that's 1 we have 5 raised to the power 1 plus log 2 base 5 then plus also 5 raised to the power 2 plus log 2 base 5 is this equals to 60 on this side then here we have 5 raised to the power 1 that's 5 then times 5 raised to the power log 2 base 5 when we separate this using the law of log indices we have this then plus also 5 square times 5 raised to the power log 2 base 5 is this equals to 60 on this side and 5 raised to power 1, that's 5 times. This follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. At this here, we have 2, then plus 5 squared, that's 25, then times also 2. This is equals to 60 on this side. 5 times 2 here, we have 10, then plus 25 times 2, that's 50. This is equals to 60 on this side. Of course, 10 plus 50, that gives us 60, equals to 60 on this side. That is left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 5 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class again. Bye for now.